Ukraine's security service has unveiled its latest model. It's known as the Sea Baby, and this one is a maritime drone. Officials said maritime drones have been used to hit Russian frigates, minesweepers, reconnaissance and patrol ships. And here's all you need to know about it. Now, Ukraine's maritime drones can travel at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour and cover a distance of more than 1,000 kilometers. Well, they are capable of carrying more than a ton of explosives. Ukraine claims it is the first country to set up a specific unit dedicated to producing them. Now, the two-year-old Ukraine conflict, the Russia-Ukraine war, has become a laboratory for new military technology. Analysts say that naval drones are set to become an essential part of the combat toolbox in 21st century warfare. Last July, Russia said two Ukrainian maritime drones had hit the Kirsch Bridge, a key supply route linking Russia to Crimea, forcing its temporary closure. An unconfirmed report said that a seed baby drone was used in that strike as well. Now, you see, the following month, in August 2023, Ukrainian sea drones struck a Russian port and damaged a warship as well. Ukrainian know-how and ingenuity are behind the development of the new generation of sea drones. They are locally designed, they're tested, and some components are sourced from abroad. Being outgunned and outnumbered, outmanned in the war against its bigger neighbor, Ukraine's daring sea drone attacks have lifted their morale. United24, a government crowdfunding organization that elicits donations from companies and individuals worldwide, collects the funding. Though the sea drones are not cheap, Sea Baby, the drone that we're talking about, it costs around $221,000 and they can damage or sink a ship worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Experts say naval drones represent a new vision of naval warfare that exchanges small numbers of high-value military assets for large numbers of cheaper, flexible and simpler platforms.